Hello friends, welcome to another episode of It's About Everything. In today's episode, you are going to see the assembly of Mahindra Duro scooter engine. You can see all the components are laid on this table. From the crankcase to the pistons and everything are here. The nuts and bolts are kept separately on another place. You can see the assembly is uh, started. The assembly is being done by my brother with the help of a friend. I'm only shooting the entire process today. Now you can see the oil seals are being put in with the help of high temperature silicon gasket sealer. Now the oil seals uh, normally does not require any type of uh, gasket sealer or anything but we don't want to take any chances so we applied a little bit of the gasket sealer and tap it with a rubber hammer tap it into its place you can see the hammer with the red rubber heads you can see this is the oil pump that you have seen in my previous videos now the old gasket uh, sorry the old oil seal has been uh, opened just now and will be replaced with a new one the entire engine is being washed uh, with diesel so that all the darts that may have uh, come inside uh, the crankcase that washes away and if there is any dirt inside the crankcase then uh, the oil seals are gonna get ruined you can see all the oil seals are in place this is the crankshaft you can see is lubricating it with engine oil Normally engine assembly is done with uh, assembly grease but uh, engine oil also does the same thing it does not make any difference Now my brother does not uh, prefer to wear gloves or anything for assembly because he wants to feel all the part in his fingers and that's why he does not use any type of club or anything you can see he is tapping the crankshaft into one side of the crankcase Now the rubber hammer you have seen, it's interchangeable, the head is interchangeable. It can be changed with different types, different densities of rubber. The like after the crankshaft is uh, inside, he is applying the gasket. Now the gasket, uh, the gasket sealer is applied on both sides of the gasket and on both the parts of the crankcase. You can see he has first applied uh, the gasket sealer then he has put the gasket into the place and then he will apply another layer of gasket sealer on top of it and on the other side of the crankcase and he will put both the pieces together you can see all the bolt holes now you can see one bolt hole where the gasket sealer he is applying right now it has a slightly uh, elevated edge this is actually the alignment pin which goes inside the other side of the crankcase which aligns both the cases together this is the other side of the crankcase you can see the other alignment pin in this side now the extra edges of the gasket have been torn off and is making sure 
that there are gas capsula everywhere and there goes the other side of the crankcase you can see it's aligning the alignment pins together and just tapping it into its place you can see the rubber in this hammer is a little bit soft and that's why it does not harm uh, the parts of the engine while tapping now there is another uh, part of this crankcase which is going to go in this side after the oil pump and everything and the starter gears and everything goes in this side and then the other side of the case will be put in and this case is just hold it with uh, two bolts one in the inside which you can see is tightening right now tightening right now and the other bolt is on the outside when the final uh, piece of the crankcase fits in then all the bolts are going to be uh, tightened all the nuts are actually 8 millimeter and uh, 10 millimeter this is the standard size and you will need a T wrench or ratchet wrench that is very handy you can see he is making sure that it fits and it's on the right side before uh, fitting it you can see he is tightening uh, the inner bolt I can see this is uh, the starter motor which has a gear shaft that rotates the gear that is connected with the crankshaft this is the magnets for the generator and you can see this is the generator And I can see this is the inner bolt and you will see he is tightening the inner bolt and you will also see where the outer bolt is placed I can see this is where the outer bolt is which he is tightening right now now make sure not to over tight it because these bolts are steel and the threads are made into the aluminium case and if you over tight it then you are going to uh, ruin all the threads and you can see the crankshaft rotates freely now he will do the next part he will put in the oil pump you can see he's inserting squirting all oils inside and then he will tighten three screws that will fit the oil pump in its place the oil pump rotates with a gear that is connected with the crankshaft and the same gear is being rotated with uh, same gear is being turned with the starter motor now this gear is like um, a ratchet it rotates in one direction and it does not rotate on the other direction that's why uh, the motor when rotates uh, the engine rotates but when the engine is rotating faster than the motor then the motor is automatically disengaged because the gear only rotates in one side just like a bicycle you can see if you pedal if you press the pedal the wheels rotate but when the wheels are rotating there is no power that is coming into the pedal again so it rotates in one side now this video is going to end here and I'm going to upload the part 2 of this assembly in my next video where you will see where these gears are
when he puts uh, the main gear on uh, the crankshaft we can see the small shaft on the left side this is where the gear attaches with uh, the starter motor and this is where the video will end you can see this is the gear which is, which is going to fit in the crankshaft and this is the shaft where the starter gear will fit in this is the starter gear so thanks a lot for watching and wait for the next part of this series don't forget to subscribe like and share thanks a lot for watching i hope i'm able to explain it to you uh, about this engine and i hope you like it have a nice day